si Ms. Bell Duaki, professor Hi. from De La Salle University. Hi, Ms. Bell. Good morning again. Good morning. And this time, Ate Lea, ang pag-uusapan natin to, I'm sure makaka-relate ka dahil, uh, well, hopefully, hindi ka pala makarelate. <laughs> Sana hindi ito ginagawa ng anak mo, no? Mukhang ngayon pa lang ako aamin kung nagawa ko, pero sa mga anak ko, hindi ko alam. O, oh, yun nga. Ito, dapat malaman mo. Paano ba makaka-avoid na mag-cut ng classes ang mga bata? But uh, in this case, kasi si, si ma'am ay uh, professor sa college, kaya ang point of reference natin is college. Well, it makes sense. Kasi nung college naman talaga, mas ano eh, mas prone ka sa pagkakot ng classes because you have more freedom, you have money, tas less than yung pagmamonitor dahil nga adults na kayo, mm -hmm. di ba? That's right. Oh. Miss Bella, I just wanna know first, ano ba usually ang dahilan bakit nagkakot ng classes? Peer pressure ba to? Um, it's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Actually, combination niya ng four factors. Mm -hmm. First is personality. Mm -hmm. Second would be teacher factor. Mm -hmm. Third would be institutional. Mm -hmm. What kind of school is that? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the rules, the system. And fourth would be cultural. Mm -hmm. So, so first, you mentioned peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Related yan sa personality ng student o ng mm -hmm. bata. Meron tayong tinatawag na concept ng locus of control. It could either be internal or external. Yung mga taong may external locus of control, ito yung prone sa peer pressure. Kasi they're like sponge. They absorb what is in the environment. So ito yung madaling masway ng peer pressure. Pag mabarkada lang, iyayain mm -hmm. ng barkada, sasama agad. Ito yung mga klaseng ganun. That's Sila ba yung mga followers and not leaders? Parang ganun. Yes. Di ba may mga ganun yes. kasi yes. mga leaders, may mga followers. So sila yung tendency ay makisama lang. Parang yes. Mm -hmm. In addition, ito din yung mabababa ang test scores according to studies. Kaya ito yung mga underachievers academically. Okay. And then you also mentioned ang um, teachers, no? Also a factor. Teacher factor, oh. oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I think it's a sad fact not all have very good teaching strategies. Mm -hmm. Um, teaching strategies need to be updated and polished all the time kasi. Mm -hmm. And it requires creativity to develop, you know, exercises, group dynamics, mm -hmm. so that you treat your students as adults, mm -hmm. especially in college, and mm -hmm. co-learners, para hindi ka nag-dominate ng classroom discussion na lagi na lang ikaw yung nasa stage. So, so Professor, uh, yung mga traditional way of teaching, mm -hmm. like yung parang uh, nagle-lecture ka lang, hindi na ba yun masyadong applicable? Well, you need a healthy balance uh -oh. between what we call pedagogy. Ito uh -oh. yung sitting at the foot of wisdom in the same way that Aristotle, Confucius, and Jesus Christ did, kung saan teacher lang yung nagle-lesson. I must admit, um, kailangan ng ganon. Most of the learning has to be done that way. May ganon pa rin dapat. Yes, oo. But it has to be balanced with andragogy. Ito yung adult learning strategies kung saan meron kang mga structured learning exercises. Mm -hmm. At dito papasok yung creativity ng teacher at yung sipag mm -hmm. no, sa pag-i-implement ng ganong strategies. Mm -hmm. Saka dapat may interaction. Kasi yun yung yes. problema natin. Ano? Pagkapili mo, nakikinig ka lang palagi. Parang mas lalong walang pumapasok. Kaya nagiging favorite kang teacher na ikat class. May mga gano'n, <laughs> di ba? That's Oo, right. Dapat yung discipline mo is number one pag kaganyan. Kasi aside sa mga factors na nabanggit mo na may pera ka, more freedom, nandiyan na rin yung boyfriend. That's, That's right. Yung girlfriend. That's right. So you, you have a choice to go to school or to go to the to movies. To love life naman. Oh, yes. Oh. So, so how do you handle things like that? No? Pa paano kaya natin masasolusyonan yung mga gano'n? Malaking bagay talaga yung teacher factor. Ako, I have activities like storytelling. Yeah. That's why they feel they own the class. You have mm -hmm. to make them own the class. Uh, you have to integrate them. Mm -hmm. And because ma they will be put on the spot. Mm -hmm. Pag storyteller ka for the day or the mm -hmm. teacher for the day, eh, they really have to prepare for it. So they become inspired and then they become excited for those kinds of activities. I tell them at the start of the term, ako muna, pero later, bibigyan ko kayo ng chance to do it once you learn the theories and concepts. Oh. Miss Bell, last question na lang po. No? Kasi, I understand, syempre, ang teachers talaga dapat uh, gumagawa ng paraan para ma-engage yung students yeah. nila. Pero may mga students talaga kasi na ang kukulit kahit anong That's galing right. ng teacher, nagka-cut pa rin. Yung mga institutions ba, meron din ginagawa to check or uh, mm -hmm. to uh, avoid nga yung ganitong klase mga incidents? Like, for example, yung school, mas sinihikpitan ba ang uh, mga, yung mga guards? Mm -hmm. Paano ba? Universities have student handbooks and mm -hmm. then andun yung mga rules and regulations. Most 
universities in Manila would require mm -hmm. um, a limit on absences. Like, mm -hmm. for example, in a school where I work, um, dapat five unexcused absences. Now, when you reach that five, automatic failing grade na yon mm -hmm. if it is unexcused. Ito, paano pagka medical certificate, which is usually naman madali makuha, no? <laughs> Pino forge no. Hindi ba talaga pasaway? How do you handle that? Paano yun? I actually have an experience. Daddy niya yung doctor. <laughs> I told her you have to get it from another doctor. doctor. And then um yeah, pag excuse yung absence, just like uh, cases of hospitalization, and you have proof for it. And second, you represented the school in a competition. Those are. Uh, excused absences. So, hindi siya kasama dun sa five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, in a nutshell, no, ang importante dito talaga, kailangan ay pagtutulungan ng teacher, mm -hmm. pagtutulungan ng school, and also the parents. So, siguro mm -hmm. kailangan din once in a while, kahit sabihin natin na sa college ito and mm -hmm. considered adults, eh, chinichat pa rin yung mm -hmm. kanilang mga anak to make sure nga yeah. na hindi na babarkada mm -hmm. at na-prepare pressure into cotton classes. Dapat may mga tell telltale signs, yes. no? Na dapat nakikita ka sa anak mo kung siya ay pumapasok or hindi. Kasi meron araw-araw mingi ng baon. Araw-araw naman kumakalis ng bahay. Correct. Yung pala palaging absent. Oh, right. Ayun yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you know, Thank you so much, Miss uh, Yellow Bell or Bell Duwaki. Siya ay uh, professor sa De La Salle University. I'm sure itong si Miss Bell magaling na professor mm -hmm. to, no? Ang dami natin natutunan. I'm sure pati yung mga students. Thank you, Miss Bell. Thank you. Nice to see you thank again. You. Thank, you so thank you so much. much.